all about getting out and learning what the outdoors is. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to what has been a very exciting week at the Shooting Channel after the Sunday night feature was actually leaked and shared and had to be released. For those of you that are subscribers, you may have already had a notification. Let me know what you thought to it. For the rest of you, I shall be putting a screen on at the end of this and you'll be able to catch up and watch it. If you're new to this channel, please do like and subscribe. This is where you can get all the latest shooting news. We also do a feature on a Thursday and it's great to have you with us. The shooting community has always encouraged young people into the sport and David and I have been saying if if we could all introduce just one person to the sport, then A, they'll be happier, B, shooting will become more mainstream, and C, we'll be doubling our numbers. As you know, David Florence stars in our Thursday night feature, and this week he was talking about his first gun, a 28 gauge. He's the organiser of the Schools Challenge, the largest young shots organisation in the UK, and if you have children or grandchildren, now is the time to introduce them to the outdoor sport. And rest assured, the industry is 100% behind them. My regular viewers will remember my pleas to respond to the Home Office consultation. And I've got an update for you on the air gun restrictions for children as a result of this. 12,000 people responded to the Home Office consultation, which is why I always advertise these things on the channel so that you can get involved from the comfort of your own home. One person getting involved and making a difference from the comfort of the green benches was former guest on this show, Sir Geoffrey Clifton Brown. He asked these pertinent questions. How many breaches of law have there been? And, and I think this is an excellent question. How many people have died as a result of young air gunners on private land? The figures, even though there aren't any, I can't help but feel, speak for themselves. On balance, this development and restriction seems disproportionate, especially as they can't come up with any real justification, and I'd like to personally thank Sir Geoffrey Clifton Brown for giving them the opportunity. You can see here that the figures are not held centrally. Make of that what you will, ladies and gentlemen. Personally, I think it's yet another encroachment and barrier against the shooting community. Enough of these will kill our sport. And this one seems to be worse because it's not just against us, it's against our children. And it's great to see that the community is uniting for our younger generation. Another example of this is Basque's Upland Project. Let's learn more. This has gained the support of 41 cross-parliamentarians, and is a really excellent opportunity. Lots of you are interested in bringing young people into the sport and the conservation side of things. And on this channel, we are doing a 410 oh. giveaway. An excellent gun, great fun for adults and perfect for a young and starting oh. shot. To be in with a chance, all you've got to do is like, subscribe, oh. share and comment. Winners will be drawn the week oh. after lockdown, the first week in April, we'll be drawing the winner. Somebody will win the yield it's 410. Our last gun winner, Michael J. Goodwin, who appeared on this show, is here again, enjoying himself in America. Thanks for sending the gear over. We're putting it to good use and hope to talk to you soon. Thanks again. I'm sure it's not going to be long till we're all out there doing the same thing. All grounds are going to be open on the 29th of March and you need to be getting into those shops and grabbing yourself a bargain. David has been slashing prices left, right and centre to make way for some new stock at the Oxford Gun Company. I've had some Sealand trousers from there. He's got some Harkeela waistcoats that are drastically reduced, some beautiful gun slips and guns for sale for as little as £100. If you have £100 and would like the full shooting experience, I can recommend that you sign up for this new gun draw from the GWCT. Wild Grey Partridge up in Scotland's Floors Castle, plus an AYA worth £11,900. Entries are limited to just £1,500 and it's by debit card only.
Here's the GWCT's response to the public consultation for DEFRA's interim game bird release licence in England. They say, there is no scientific evidence that direct damage extends to 500 metres. It is our view that a buffer extending to 500 metres is over precautionary and not necessary. Our view is that there should be no statutory buffer zone. The GWCT is also running a survey about your views on lead shot. This is an interesting debate here and one that isn't going to go away any time soon. I'll put a link in the description for you folks and I would urge you all to get involved. Remember the old saying, if I want your opinion, I'll ask for it? Well, people are asking for it, so it's important that we give that. Although there were 12,000 responses to the Home Office consultation, we don't know how many of those were on our side. But the best news, folks, is that we are moving ever nearer to that March the 29th date. The CPSA are going to be taking entries to competitions from the 1st of May. If you've never competed before, now might be the time. There's lots of tutorial videos on this channel to help you on your way. There's going to be a load more coming. And remember, if you like, subscribe, share and comment, you could be in with a chance of winning that Yield It's 410. Please, please, just remember to keep watching this show. You're now up to date. I'm Alex Sayer. I'll see you next Tuesday here at the Shooting Channel. Here's the Sunday night special featuring the Percy Stanbury gun. Thanks for watching. share to your friends and have a look at what other films we've done and it's all there to try and encourage you to get into shooting this great sport.